So I want you to run around in a circle. Here we go. Give them a round of applause. He has them running in circles. Faster. Stomping their feet. Faster. And screaming high fives. It's rock star pandemonium for British superhero Jamie McDonald. McDonald is making a surprise visit to Acol J.B. Mitchell Elementary, his first stop in Winnipeg, along his cross-Canada run for sick children. The likable McDonald entertains the children with his journey starting in St. John's, Newfoundland this past March, running solo with no support crew and hoping to reach Vancouver by mid-December. My days of long run across Canada! <laughs> McDonald was critically ill as a child and spent a lot of time in and out of hospital. Now he is giving back, already donating thousands of dollars to Children's Hospital in England. He is creating the same ripple effect right here across the pond in Canada. I would like to tell you the reason why I am standing in front of you today. But superhero McDonald isn't the only special guest today. We were having our takeoff assembly for our walkathon. And uh, we already had a very inspirational story, which was about one of our students. That student is Waverly Leduc, fourth grader at J.B. Mitchell. Waverly has a rare genetic disorder called Rett syndrome. She was born a healthy baby girl. Then at about 18 months, we noticed that she was losing some of the skills that she had, some of the words that she had, she wasn't able to say them anymore. Then when she was about four years old, she started having seizures. And how is Waverly doing? Waverly's doing well. Um, we've noticed yeah. that, yeah, you're doing well. We've noticed there's been a deterioration in her mobility. Um, in the last year, but she's doing well. Hey, you doing well? It's so nice that she's here at school with all of her friends at J.B. Mitchell, and uh, we receive so much support from the Children's Rehab Foundation. It's really great. The walkathon will raise funds for the Children's Rehabilitation Center and more independence for Waverly. And we wanted uh, the children to really understand what it was all about to be caring and giving. And um, we know that the rehab center has always been very good for not only that student, for other, but other students in our school. So when um, the parent called me and let me and asked me if I would be willing to have Jamie here, I was ecstatic. I was so I thought it was just so timely. McDonald's arrival in Winnipeg was definitely timely. He continues to entertain the children and raise awareness. Today they will collect loonies for Jamie McDonald's charity of choice in Manitoba, the Children's Hospital Foundation. I think he's awesome. I donated a dollar. I might give him ten dollars tomorrow. He's very successful, I think, because he's doing it for such a good cause, but he's doing it in a fun way. He's dressing up as a superhero, and that's super fun, so I think that's, that's really good. Well, I finally found out exactly what he's running for, and I think it's a really cool cause. Well, ever since Waverly was my book buddy, because she was in kindergarten, and uh, I've really enjoyed being with her, and she's a lot of fun. For more information and to donate, you can go to jamiemcdonald.org and follow the links to support his cause in Manitoba. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Tracy Koga.